Don't forget to check out my Patreon where we have exclusive content such as Camp Zero Base One, Seventeen's Nana Tour, Seventeen in the Soup, Finding Stray Kids, Black Pink House, EXO's Ladder, EXO Showtime, A Pink Showtime, and tons of other content including extra variety shows, K dramas, animes, and movies. Hey guys, Angie here, and today we're finally checking out Zyker's comeback. I am so sorry, I didn't realize how late we were to this. Um, what's the name of it? It's like Witches or something? Um, House of Tricky, watch out. And it looks like it's kind of not Halloween themed, but just, I'm excited, listen as a halloween baby kind of i was born the day before halloween um but maybe in some places it would be halloween uh i'm excited because i i feel like this is right up their alley i hope we're going for that sound they did from um uh do or die personally like i like that sound from them but i did like the recent comeback as well so it's cool uh, I actually saw their albums at Target when I was trying to get Boy Next Door's albums and that made me go, oh fuck, I forgot about the comeback. So I apologize for how late it's been, but let's hop into the video. Okay, so it's hard to find Zyker's lyric videos, which sucks. Um, like I wanna, cause I don't know their voices like that. Like I wanna properly know who's singing what, but um, I know this is just the intro, but I'm talking about like for back off and hang around. I couldn't find lyrics. I don't know why Shadow by Yoongi doesn't do all the songs. Like they just pick and choose, I guess. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm excited. I like Halloween themed songs and I feel like a lot of K-pop groups don't really do that. I think only Red Velvet and like Purple Kiss, like those groups, only they have really done such songs, so. Ooh. Oh, this goes hard. Uh, so it's weird to me because I'm, I'm st to this day still used to this opening being for only a season. I'm trusting them. I'm trusting them. Oh yes, is this uh June? Mm -hmm. Who is this? No. Uh. It sounds like yes, though. Ooh. And my baby. John. Yes, I was kidding. This is a different black hair. Hey, Hunter. Oh, that. That was so cute, but also so cool. I love that. Oh, I wish- I know Zyker's fan did not want them on Road to Kingdom, but like, look at how 80s is really garnered a huge audience after that. I don't, I don't know why they didn't- uh, I guess they're putting their trust in Zyker's, but I really think Zyker's would have benefited. And their songs would go so hard there. I just- I don't know. Personally, I would have- I would have put them on Road to Kingdom. I know, I know it sucks, but AT's really did come out getting a lot of fans from that. Uh, I was excited to see them there. Because oh, I love Hunter doing that. Oh, this is so good. Oh, look at this one. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. Soon well, let's get it. And you can trust like there's rap line. You can trust their rap line. Oh, to get good raps. <laughs> it's just great oh i like th i think the only saving grace in rapping right now is zykers and boy next door like that's the only like good rapping i feel like we've gotten since Tyson's like stray kids i i could be missing a group let me know but i i feel like those two they're holding it together here they're holding it together like Oh my god, rap line is going off right now. Like Sum and Minje, Ye Chan. I think so are only our rappers, right? I wanna see if they have credits. Yeah, you usually got some cool parts. I need more Jinshik though. I I was I was they gave it to me. Shion and Jinshik are really Hansu is getting like really cool parts. Okay. Wait. Know you're a witch? But it sounds like it seems like witch for location in Korean sounds like witch. You know your wish. Which is that like? Wait, my mind just got like fucked. <laughs> Wait, because I was like rapping with the song. The lyrics were kind of like that's why I wanted to see if they have credits for their rap lyrics. Because, uh, wait, wait, which come back? Wait, this goes hard. I'm stressed. This is like. I I oh my god how do I I need it's so hard to find watch out okay not called witch to call watch out oops I need to okay okay yeah rap line did get credit for their they they wrote their lyrics. Okay, that's crazy. This song goes crazy. They're credited in all the songs for the rapping. That's so creative. Oh, that's so cool. Bewitch. That's such a cool play on words. I feel like we have a good amount of boy groups. Like I, pe I feel like people aren't understanding where we're at right now. We have Zykers, dark concept, boy next door, fun. Like, like Zykers to Monster X, boy next door to Icon, Zero Waste One to EXO maybe? 
That's how I'm feeling right now. Like, we have, and then two us to 17. Like, I feel like we're in that era right now, and I feel like you're not understanding that. Like, the amount of different music boy groups have right now is insane. Like, I mean, fed well. I feel like people are, like, not understanding and appreciating where we're at. Like, this is so cool. This is so cool. This was such a cool comeback. Like, I like their last comeback. I think my favorite comeback was a Do or Die, in terms of title track, at least. Um, to be fair, like, that whole album was just really good, though. Um, uh, yeah, the uh, How to Play album. Because that album solidified my love for them. But this title track is like a mixture of Tricky House and Do or Die. Personally, like that was so good. All right, let's get it. I'm so, I'm so happy. My groups are having great comebacks right now. Like, I'm really happy. Like, this is a great year for comebacks. I don't know what people are talking about. <laughs> They'll just stand by group take us. Oh, you have no takes. I don't know. I love when you just know it's Yechon. <laughs> I want to see if I can find the lyrics. Is this Suman? I think Minjay has a deeper voice actually, so that's probably Minjay. Uh, uh, I wish I knew their voices better. Mm, I can't find the lyrics, guys. Watch this. Wait. I may have found it. I do not. I'm sad. It's okay, we'll just ride them. This could be Eugen. This sounds like Simon. But I don't know. Not Simon, I don't know. Simon, but I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's been a while since I've like really heard the voices, so... I wonder who's doing this part. I, I, my mind goes it might be Eugene, because he kind of gets those weird parts. But I don't know. It's been so long since we've seen John Quinn. That song went hard. I feel like this would be really fun live. So, I find, it's very interesting, Jung Hoon is still on hiatus, um, but I know he has an ACL injury, which it's very dangerous. I don't know. I just really like Jung Hoon. Um, I think he's very funny, very sweet. And yeah. But anyways, I was just trying to see 
because I haven't seen any updates on him. So, and he's been gone since like uh, he wasn't in their comeback, right? Their first comeback, right? Like he's been gone that long. Because I think it was like right after debut, like before the next comeback. Um, this song goes hard though. <sighs> Who's doing this part? You can let me know if you guys know, because I love that part. That's a great song. Very hype song. It reminds me a lot of their uh, energetic, very fun live songs. Like, I would love to see them in concert. I'm excited for this song. To be honest, I don't know why. It's the title. I feel like it's gonna be fun. I love that he like this rock vibe to them. Personally, I appreciate that because I, I love that style. Which is why I love the group. I love that you have like blonde hair in the music video. Oh, I'm getting chills, wait, Is this gonna be our, uh, homeboy? Like, are we gonna get a music video for this song? Be, I hope. If you like this song, you will like Strawberry Cake by External Heroes. No explanation either, just go listen to that song, because this song goes so hard. Oh, Tricky House Reference. This song is so hard. <laughs> they put Eugene, but his name is Eugene. Like, I'm kind of mad about that. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, it's Eugene. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm assuming, because this, this is Eugene, so I'm like, there's no Eugene in the group. Look at his makeup. Eugene's such a character, I love him. You should better run. That was Juno with that hair? Oh wow, do not recognize him. Or did I? Maybe in the music video. But I think I recognized. I don't know. This is my favorite song. This is my fan favorite, right? This is the other home. This is Homeboy Part 2. Don't you, don't you realize? Don't you realize? It may have been you, Jim, in that part of the song then. Min Jae Win. Oh, this is like some Soomin energy. Soomin. Soomin. And Soomin? Oh. And they changed the end. Oh, I knew I could trust these guys. This song is so good. This song is so good. <laughs> Loki don't even want to listen to Sandy Castle, but that name looks so cool, so I'm excited for that song too. Song facts, that's what I was saying. Jung Hoon's on hiatus, man. Ugh, that song went so hard. They didn't fix the fucking name!
That one's so hard. Oh yeah, okay, I see it's true. I think the bangs in the front threw me off. Okay, weaker, I like it. I wear that. His voice in the song is crazy. like it. This album in general is reminding me much more of the uh, play album, the House of Tricky How to Play album, which I love that album, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> Who's doing that? Jinshik, maybe? Or Shenwu? One of them? That song was nice. That was a nice song. Rockstar, yes. <gasps> this is so good. This album's oh, it's just making me really happy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I feel refreshed. I feel like personally, Zero Waste One, Boy Next Door, and Zykers are like three of some of my favorite groups currently in terms of music. But so like this past like the past month or so having these comebacks like back to back like it's just making me very happy <laughs> like i feel healed <laughs> i feel very because i feel like a lot of my favorite older groups i haven't loved a lot of their recent albums um like 17 and stuff and that's fine i don't mind like i don't i can wait till the next album um so it's kind of like these little baby groups i'm like so proud of them and i'm like excited to see their growth and i'm excited of their journeys and i feel like the past comebacks of like boy next doors was at the same time as zykers and then like zero base ones was not too long ago and i'm just like very proud of them um and it's nice to see i i feel like it's weird to me that people categorize fifth gen boy groups as sounding the same because literally none of them sound the same like, not any of them. You're telling me Zykers and Tua sound the same? You're telling me Zykers and Zero Base One sound the same? You're telling me Boy Next Door and Tua sound the I don't understand. Like, I'm loving the variety I'm getting. It's, it just makes me happy to have music for any type of mood. 
I do wish we had a bit, a little song for their vocals though. We had a little bit of insane vocal though. This is I do love getting some rapping good. That's something like I can come to them and get good rapping. Like if I don't like a song, I know I'm gonna get a good rap in it though. Why I know for sure their raps aren't gonna ruin the songs. Is this Hunter? Mood, mood. I feel like I'm mixing up Hunter's voice with somebody. Hunter does that part. That book parts though usually, right? <laughs> I think I need to listen to some or watch some live performances. Wait. Now is our time. Now is our time. Hey, shout it out louder. Shout it out. Go. So now we know. Who did we look at? Show it out. Show it out. Time to figure it out. Now it's our time. This album has been great. This is 10 out of 10 album. I wish we had one more spooky song. I wish we had one more eerie, creepy, spooky song, personally, just because I... Oh, it was this. Um... Wait. Gotta add there. They have a video. Gotta add that in. Um... I think they were... They went somewhere, though. Like, I saw them somewhere. I don't know. But yeah, I just wish we had one more spooky song. Just to kind of um make that witchy watch out. Like we got some good aggressive songs, but I kind of want another spooky, eerie sound. Just something a little hocus pocusy. Um, but that's a better like, like that's the only complaint is I wish there was another song. <laughs> that's the complaint here. Um favorite song is by far bittersweet. Um back off and sandcastle but hang around was super fun and which actually which might be maybe which more than back out or back off i don't know that was so good too um sandcastle was weird but i think once i kind of understood the song i appreciated it for what it was i think it was a really fun song um i do wish a spooky song and maybe like a vocal maybe the vocal song could be the spooky song um but we haven't had a full-length album yet and that's definitely due to come. I feel like we're going to get a full length after. Oh, wait, no, they're not on Road to Kingdom. Yeah, we'll probably get a full length maybe at the beginning of 2025. Or maybe even if they like push it for the end. Um, but I don't think they would. I think they would wait till like maybe February. Um, fingers crossed. I want a full length because I feel like I could see. I can envision how the album would go now because of the way they're doing the mini albums. I feel like they have like two different sounds, but they complement each other. Like they don't feel like opposites. Um, like Do or Die and uh, I'm staying with the last album. Uh, so we don't stop. Yeah, like we don't stop and like do or die. And then like this and Tricky House. Like I feel like they have like an aggressive sound and then they have more of like a pop rock 
not pop rock, like punk rock kind of vibe. I don't know. I can envision it though. It'd be really cool. But finally we got around to it and I enjoyed it. I'm kind of glad I waited though because I, if I reacted to it the same day I reacted to Chewy and Boy Next Door, I feel like I would have been too tired musically to enjoy it properly. Um, and I feel like, you know, time and place. But that is it for this video. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Bye! Really cool too, we all do wine all the best.